Welcome to my next Big Bang Theory Season 10 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you are caught up to the point where I am, you're watching or watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find it that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be the Big Bang Theory Season 10, Episode 18. The title of this episode is called The Escape Plan Identification. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So Leonard points out to Penny that Raj can't afford his apartment and is looking for a cheap place to live. We also see Bernadette and Howard at their house in beds. Uh, they see the same post. And Howard wants to write India of where a cheap place he can Raj can live at. Sheldon tells Amy, I know our apartment is small, but I think we can make room. Amy says, no, Sheldon, you're not getting a life-size Spider-Man statue. Leonard talks about Sheldon's old room. Penny says, you're a good friend. He says, Then he says, I hope Howard offers first. And then Penny says, you're even a better husband and gives him a kiss. So she doesn't really want Raj to move in. But she, uh, you know, Leonard at least is showing some sort of, oh, we should really let him stay here. But I hope Howard asks first. Howard talks about uh, making room for Raj in the garage. Amy tells Sheldon for the last time, no life-size statues. And then we see Raj packing his stuff. And he gets a phone call from Howard. And Howard does indeed offer the garage to Raj. And then while he's on the phone with Howard, Leonard calls and offers the extra bedroom. So then Raj clicks back over to uh, Howard or, you know, goes back on the line with Howard and tells Howard about Leonard being on the other line. And basically he wants, what will you offer me versus what they can offer me? Well, I have my own bathroom and you could use the bathroom downstairs. So Howard says, go live there then. You know, if Leonard's offering, go live there. And Sheldon tells Leonard and Penny he's not upset that Raj is moving into his old room. Uh, he's now outraged. Sheldon is feeling a bit replaced. Sheldon gives Raj a blank notebook as he had some of his best ideas in that room. You took my room. You turned my friends against me. I hope you're happy. And then Sheldon and Amy leave. And then Sheldon Skypes Beverly Hofstetter, Leonard's mom. He complains about Raj moving into his room. Brings up, this is giving me negative feelings. And Beverly says, says that he uh, feels trapped. That's his like escape hatch. And Sheldon tells Beverly, you're good. Sheldon goes to apologize to Raj and says Raj is going to distract them from their marital problems. Because that's what Beverly said. Uh, Leonard Skypes his mom to yell at her for saying him and Penny are having marital problems. Howard comes to, or Raj comes to Bernadette and Howard's and wakes them up in the middle of the night. He startles them and Stuart comes in with a baseball bat. Not on my watch! And relax, it's just Raj. Sheldon can't sleep because Beverly said uh, that his room was his escape hatch. And then Raj suggests that him and Stuart get a place. And Stuart's been freeloading. All he has to do is check in on the baby every once in a while. So he has no interest in leaving Howard and Bernadette's place. Leonard tells Penny Raj moved out last night. Leonard yells at Amy and Sheldon by the door. Help! Cinnamon's loose in the building! Just to annoy Sheldon, because Sheldon doesn't like dogs. Penny tells Raj, we really weren't fighting uh, with you. Um, it's settled. Raj is going to go back to Leonard and Penny's house. This is all taking place at Howard and Bernadette's. Sheldon tells Amy, we are the only ones in our social group that don't need to fill the holes in our relationship with a third party. And then in the background, there's a life-size Batman statue. Uh, and that's what ends this episode of The Big Bang Theory. So, pretty good episode. I enjoyed the most of it for the most part. I'm going to score the episode an 8.4 out of 10. And then, as many of you know, I rate Penny because Penny is the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory. And one of the reasons why I continued watching The Big Bang Theory, uh, I'm going to give her a 9.0 for this particular episode. So, you've heard everything that I have to say. Uh, now it's your turn. If you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the youtube algorithm please don't forget to hulk smash the like button share this video with a friend put this video on any one of your social media platforms 
Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of The Big Bang Theory. What would you rate it? And whom would be your character of the episode? I guess I didn't say what my character of the episode was. Wow, I forgot to put that down. Sheldon would be the character of the episode. Um, and just let me know what your thoughts are. And if you want to do what I do and rate Penny based on how Penny looks, you can certainly do that as well. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You are watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.